We all know that wind can be used to make electricity, but how can wind be used to make hydrogen? A huge energy project is planned in Stephenville, a first of its kind in Canada with 164 wind turbines. But electricity from wind isn't the goal. The goal is green hydrogen. Well, technically green ammonia, but we'll get to that. Let's start with hydrogen. Most abundant element in the universe, number one on the periodic table. You can find hydrogen in places like the sun, or closer to home, it's the H in H2O. So this is water molecule. So we have one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. So together this makes H2O. And what we want to do is to separate these bonds into oxygen and hydrogen. My name is Kevin Pope. I am an associate professor here at Memorial University. My specializations are renewable energy, particularly wind energy and hydrogen production. The plan in Stephenville is to use wind energy to power a process called water electrolysis. So this is a very simple demonstration of electrolysis, of water electrolysis, where we're splitting the H2O into its constituents H and O, or oxygen and hydrogen. I put baking soda in and stir it up. Now we have our two pieces of metal. So these will be electrodes. And we can take our positive and negative terminals of our power source here. If you look closely, you can start to see bubbles forming, particularly on this black line here, which is the negative side. And so on one side, we have hydrogen gas coming off, and on the other side, we would have oxygen gas coming off. So all we need to do is capture this gas coming off these electrodes, and then we have, we have hydrogen stored, uh, and we are storing this, this electricity energy in the form of hydrogen. So water electrolysis uses hydrogen like a battery to store electricity. But the key to the Stephenville project is that the electricity being stored would come from a green renewable source, wind. That's what makes it green hydrogen. But there's one more step. Remember, the goal isn't actually hydrogen, it's ammonia. So why do they want ammonia instead of hydrogen? And what is ammonia? Ammonia is a simple gas. It has a nitrogen atom with three hydrogen atoms attached to it. One of the shortcomings of hydrogen is that it's actually quite difficult to store. It's very light and it takes up a lot of space. So trying to store that and ship that over across the ocean is, is not an easy process. So it's a great option to convert it to another molecule, which is easier to transport. Just as the wind energy would be stored in hydrogen, the hydrogen would be stored in ammonia. Simple enough, but to make it all happen, you need lots of wind, lots of water, and a way to transport the finished product. You can't find that combination of things just anywhere, but you can find them right here. So that's how wind from Newfoundland and Labrador could become power for other parts of the world. A little chemistry goes a long way.